are you tired to write messy and unorganized code that leads to frustration and bugs? Let me show you how few simple changes can take your code from confusing house to crystal clear. Hey guys, my name is Vlad. Thank you so much for coming back. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can write clean code, clean Python code. Clean code is a foundation of readable, maintainable, and scalable software. In this video, we are going to explore key principles from book Clean Code by Robert C. Martin or Uncle Bob. I highly recommend you to read that book. However, in that book, all the examples in Java. In this video, I'll show you examples in Python language. Since Python language is so versatile language and many people use it, web developers, software engineers, data analysts, data science, data engineers. So this principle will be useful for all of those kind of developers. So let's make your code clean, readable, and stress-free. If you are ready, then let's get started. What is messy code? Just look at my example. This code is really hard to understand, hard to read, and how to maintain. And of course, it's almost impossible to scale it. So let me show you some principle from the Clean Code book by Robert C. Martin that could help you improve the code. Meaningful naming. It's so important, as you can see in these two examples, what is F, what are X and Y? We have no idea what this code does just by looking at it. And look at the NASA example, much better, right? Clean names make it obvious what the function does, no guesswork needed. Functions should do one thing. Here's the example where one function is doing too many things at once. This is a kind of mess that's difficult to maintain. So the solution will be refactor this code for separate functions. For each function has one clear responsibility. Simple and easy to manage. Unnecessary comments. Sometimes we use comments to explain code when the code itself isn't clear. But if your code is written well, comments often aren't needed. As you could see in my example, it's so easy to understand what this function does. This comment is unnecessary. So try to write the code that could explain itself. Error handling. Handling error properly is a key to robust code. Look at these two examples. What could happen with the first function when b is zero? The program will crash. If you add proper error handling, the program handles this case gracefully without breaking. Keep code formatting consistent. There are so many ways how you can write your code, but keep in mind formatting matters. Code that is inconsistent can be harder to read. Use consistent spacing, indention, and avoid cramming too much into one line. Dry principle or don't repeat yourself. Look at these two functions. As you can see, they do the same things. So basically, duplicating code is harder to maintain because if there is a change, you have to make that change in both functions. So in this instance, it's better to refactor this code and bring it to one single function. So if you will need to change something, you need to do it just in one function. TDD or test-driven development. TDD basically means writing tests before writing the actual code. This approach ensures that your code does what it's supposed to. It requires more time, but you create a safety net that catches issue early on. Avoid side effects. Side effects occur when a function modifies some state outside its scope. For instance, look at my function. This function modifies a global variable, which is a side effect. To avoid this, we can refactor our code and remove the part that modify global variable. In this instance, functions simply return a result without modifying an external state. Common query separation. This principle states that every method should either be a command that performs an action or in query that returns data to the caller, but not both. Look at my example. This method both modifies the stack and returns a value. So modification of the stack is a comment and return the value is a query. So we can refactor our code by introducing two different methods. One method is a pop, is a command, and another method is a size, 
is a query. So try to avoid these common mistakes. Try to don't use vague names like temp or x to avoid writing long functions that try to do too much things. Try to handle errors that could prevent your system from crashes to avoid duplication of the code. Refactor instead. Avoiding this simple mistake will make your code cleaner and more maintainable. I recommend you to check out Clean Code Book for more in-depth advices. I'll share with you the link to the preview in case if you want to read it first before purchase. That's it. As you could see, it's really useful. Try to remember these principles and your code will be crystal clear. And of course, you need to practice. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please click like. If you don't like it, it's okay. Please share with me your feedback in comments below because only with your feedback I can improve my videos. Thank you so much for your watch this video as well. And thank you so much for watch my other videos. If you haven't watched them yet, please watch. They are really useful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Your help is really, really important for me. Again, I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.